standard 12th computer studies and uh, it is only for science commerce and art stream students and uh, we learn all chapters a quick summary well standard we have total 13 chapters right so we start it with the first chapter that chapter is uh, creating html forms using composer and the first point it is html forms so forms are used to accept the data accept the data over the web and second point it is a form in html it is a container used to collect different kinds of uh, inputs from the user it allows the more interactivity and control in the data entry right and html form contains elements like uh, labels text passwords text areas radio buttons check boxes drop down and pull down menus submit and reset buttons after that second point it is element it is used to create html forms if you want to create uh, html forms uh, and uh, the forms elements are described in these four sections the first section it is uh, form second one is input third one it is text area and fourth one it is select and option right so let's start the first one it is the form element and form element it is used to create html forms and uh, this tag is used the form tag is used to create an html form and the form elements use two attributes that two attributes are action and method so what is in that action method action attribute it is action attribute it is used to specify where to send the form right data when the form is submitted and it takes the file name as a value right what is in that method attribute it is method attribute specify hypertext transfer protocol method it is used to uh, use when sending the data right so it takes two values right so these are the two values the get and post so what is in that get method so get method it is retrieves the data from the form and send it to the server by attaching it at the end of the url right it is uniform resource locator and it is allows only the limited amount of information the default value for method attribute it is get right and the next next one it is the post method the post method it is uh, data is sent to the block through the hypertext transfer protocol transactions and does not have any restrictions of the data length so this is very important after that input elements so what is in the input elements you create a text box different types of passwords and check box and etc so when you create input uh, element then use input it is container tags as well as empty tag right input tags has the different attributes that are the type name and its value so what is in the type attribute it is specify the field that is to be created and name attribute it is specify the name it is to be used for field and value attribute this specify the default value of that field what is that radio button any one radio button can be selected at a time from the group of radio buttons and it is used to select if you want to uh, use to select a single item from the given group of items the group name must be same right for all the radio buttons in that group after that what is in that checkbox if you want to create a checkbox in the form then generally it is used to select the multiple items from a given group of items and multiple checkboxes can be selected at a time after that text uh, it creates the text field right to enter text in the form and user enter any data of his choice in the text field if you want to create password then password field in the form right similar to the text field but the characters are not displayed to the user then last two buttons are the submit and reset button the submit button it is creates a submit button right in the form and on the clicking on the submit button value of the data it is enter in the form it is submitted to the file specified 
in an action attribute of the form element and reset create the reset button in the form and on the clicking on the reset button the value of the data is to be entered in the form it is clear and set back to the default values after that text area if you want to create text area this text uh, area tag is used for the multi line text in uh, multi line text input right it allows the unlimited number of characters and it can use to enter the comments reports and a long descriptions of the product right so you can add the in, into the composer software by using insert form and the text area right after the size of the text area it is specified by using the rows and columns attribute after that if you want to create a drop down menu use this tag there is select tag it is used to create a drop down list or the pull down list right and options it is used to specify the values that are to be display in the form, in the menu right and if you want to insert go to the insert form and selection list after that the open source ide ide means integrated development environment and software applications that provides the complete facilities uh, to the programmer to develop the different types of software and right? it provides the graphical user interface text editors different types of compilers interpreters and debuggers right so and these are the some examples of the open source ide that are the composer eclipse j builders and netbits so what is in that composer software it is uh, open source web development ide it is used to create the different types of websites and it will all it will also supports the css and the javascript and you can download it from the site site name is composer.net right and it provides the website web page editor which has a simple graphical interface that is wysi wyg it is what you see is what you get right and it is complete web authorizing system the site manager is uh, gives a rapid access to the file on the both local machines as well as of the remote servers and you use f9 key is used to open or close the site manager right and composer toolbar right so different types of uh, toolbars are given view and hide different toolbars namely the composition toolbar formatting toolbar 1 and format toolbar 2 to view the source uh, view show or hide compositions toolbar it is used to create a new file open file or save file right or you can publish a web page format toolbar 1 and 2 it is used to format the different types of text add buttons numbering and you perform the similar formatting options right what is in that edit toolbar it is uh, shows the button right to the window and it has the three modes the normal mode text html tags and preview mode all of the modes are in the editing facilities are available right so in the normal mode similar to this preview mode right and table outlines are visible in that normal mode previews offers the page view as seen in that web browser html tags views help those who are familiar with this html after that page panels are given it is shows in the left side of the pen and the three tabs are given so design split and source what is then the design design tab it is used to design a web page split tab it is display the html tab, source and source tab it will display the details of html codes and it is uh, it helps in editing the source codes after that in the status bar bottom of that window and this is the composer we have you can download it from the site composer.net and these are the different menu options are given right refer this menu options right uh, if you want to add toolbars or open recent use pages define a new form if you want to insert labels insert text input text fields creating radio buttons creating checkbox creating text areas creating pull down menu or if you want to give background right different uh, menu options are given refer this menu options right so this is the end of the chapter number 1 summary Bye.